Hello, people, and welcome to another edition of yours truly, Josiah Willis. Here they were, another reaction. Let's go right ahead and get back to it. Back to some pop music. I'll first say something else. Pop music, alternative. I don't know what this is. Let me go as far as look at the certain genres that goes along with this genre, I guess you can say. I, it, I don't know what I was trying to say, but anyways. Uh, some pop music right here. It's a little Spanish. It's a little lo-fi and definitely some emo because we have Kina Get You The Moon, the official music video featuring Snow. Now, okay, granted, this song, I do realize, you guys, it's three years old. It came out on, I believe, July 3rd, 2019, or as part of the, the visual when it came out. Um, but in general, yes, I am repping towards Kina Beats. And this song is three years old, and I know I'm very, very late, but keep in mind, around 2019, I even had my YouTube channel. It didn't even exist until April 2020. So, we here. <laughs> and so, with that being said, before we get to this reaction and enjoy it, I would like for you guys to do me a quick favor, and that is to like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link of this song will be down in my description below, and yes, you guys. A lyrical breakdown will be provided once the song is over. Stay tuned. And also, check out my uh, other YouTube channel. It is called The King Life Podcast. I will repeat, The King Life Podcast, alongside my good friend and fellow co-host, Anthony Lombardo. We got about, hmm, I would say six, maybe seven episodes up. Yes, yeah, between those numbers, I'm always getting it mixed up. But it is this, it's on the channel. Um, you can look it up on my description as well. I will have it in my description. And I also will have it um, on my channel page. So you can go over around there and look at other channels. You will find it there as well. <laughs> Just navigate for it. Okay, anyways, enough talking. Let's get to Kina, Get You the Moon, the official music video produced by Kina himself. All right. And by the way, this is track number one on his EP, Things I Wanted to Tell You. Here we go. Okay. Ah, it's good. You gave me a show that we Here's all song live right now and that's why I want to react to it. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, even YouTube ads. I'm like, wow. Songs everywhere. You are, you are the reason why my head is still above water. And if I could, I'd get yeah, it's catchy too. Hmm. 
Like he looks like he let her go in that moment. She can like fade away. And that flower reminds her of her. Reminds him of her. Metaphorically. Oh, now he's a flower too. <laughs> Don't block them together. Okay. Shout out to uh, John John for the direction and the drawing of the visual. That was really good, man. Very, very solid visual. I really like that. That was really good. Um, so, I will give you guys the meaning behind the song. I kind of like already know the meaning, but I am going to go ahead and read what Genius says about it. So, basically, 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 Get You the Moon is a collaborative single between Snow and Kina that details an individual who's deeply in love with another person oh wow okay so you love someone but at the same time you also are, you're more so in love with somebody else besides the relationship you're already having um at the moment <clears throat> interesting the individual decides to sing this song as a tribute for everything they've gone through together the song is an expression of the adoration kina feels towards the person the narrator is singing to in other words the narrator loves this individual so much that if he had the wherewithal, he would give him or her the moon. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And I think the moon is a it, the way I'm interpreting that is give you life, give you the full extent of what I can offer you. Um, just all the rewards, all the gifts, everything. You know what I'm saying? You just pretty much get everything. Um, that's where I'm kind of like getting from that and how I'm interpreting it. All right, so here's the verse. He says, you gave me a shoulder when I needed it. Comfort. You showed me love when I wasn't feeling it. Numbed. You helped me fight when I was given in. Like in confidence or um, the courage to, you know, be who he is and, and, and then stand up for who he. I would say stand up for who, who he is, but also defend um, his right. And you made me laugh when I was when I was losing it. <laughs> when he's going through his depression and bright sadness, um, she was his joy. You know, what I'm saying she was a light for him. Cause you are, you are the reason why I'm still hanging on. Cause you are, you are the reason why my head is still above water. So these refer to, um, I would guess, levels of persistence. Yeah, because I think I read something along the lines. That's, I, I'm not sure if still hanging on or head above, um, head still above water are necessary idioms. They might be metaphors because I, I think I looked this up before English classes and stuff you could do. And I think that was going into um, the means of what persistence is, right? So here you, you get Snow talking about... Um, is it Snow or is it Kina? Hmm, interesting. Uh, Tom about a girl that can just stay strong um, and carry on with his life. Hmm, interesting. Okay, okay. I, I'm getting it, you guys. I'm just taking it all at, at a time. So here's the chords. And if I could, I get you the moon. And if I give it to you, no, and it, um, and give it to you. And if death was coming for you, I'd give my life for you. So in exchange, that's a very intense statement right there, too. Um, but in exchange, you know, to give someone uh, the greatest success of continuously living life, um, if I had to, you know, my party donate my body. <laughs> it's kind of like what I'm giving that. But it's, it's just to protect and spare a loved one, man. I 100% you know, admire that. I mean, it's a bit... You know, out there, but hey, if you love someone that deep, you know what I'm saying? What can I say? I can't, I'm not going to necessarily judge you um, as long as you know God. But then again, I digress. So here's the bridge because you are, you are, oh, you are, oh, you are, oh, you are everything. <laughs> this is what the song is telling me. You everything, girl. You know what I'm saying? It's what uh, Kena here is saying, or I believe Snow 
is Noah a guy or a girl? I'm, I'm, I'm curious now. So, or is Ken the producer? Let me see. So Ken's a guy, okay. Producer. And then we got Snow. Let me see if Snow. Snow's a guy too. Okay, okay, okay. So, I, so my best guess is this. He's the one who's singing. Ken's the one who's producing. Okay, so this is what I'm kind of getting from this record overall. Um, both of them did a great job, man. Really did. Our production very mellow, very slow, um, but definitely captures a, a sense of mysterious, um, a, an eerie tone that would suggest life is kind of like in despair. But there's still hope. There's still hope. I want to think of this record as more of a song that anyone can relate to when they're going through probably heartbreak and loving someone too deep but at the same time can grow. And as that visual show with the flowers coming together, first it was her, then it was him, uh, you will blossom, you will blossom, whether they is together or maybe separate. Cause then she did, he did hold her hand and he let go. So she was like, kind of like gone at that point. Um, but then again, who's to say? Who's to really say you guys? Um, but overall, if y'all enjoy this reaction, please let me know what y'all think in the comments below, what I may have missed, what I may have not quite get. Uh, but definitely love uh, y'all's uh, interpretation of it. Probably a whole lot better than I did towards this song. But anyways, um, <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link of this song will be down in my description below. This was Kena's Get You the Moon featuring Snow, produced by Kena himself. Uh, this came out on March 2018. Okay, March 14, 2018. But the official visual came out in July of 2019. Ain't that something? A full year. All right. <laughs> Made a difference. King Life, we are out.